anything and I was just about the money. It wasn't like that. It was very cold. All the conversations were really short. There, there, there wasn't a lot of substance to anything at that time. So we're just closing deals and making money. But the second time around, it was a whole different ball game. I had a whole new respect for people, for deals, for the business, for everything. And I was just, I just felt completely blessed to even be back in the business, to be honest with you. So I started building my business on people, not deals. And I was very, like, I, I it was, it was just a, it was a huge turning point for me. And I had a lot of aha moments, you know, over the next couple of years. And then when the oil spill happened and I made more money that year, that was when it all kind of came together. And I was like, okay, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared of a market crash of any kind. I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared to lose deals. I'm not, there's nothing that can take me down now. And that's when I decided, I was, I had already decided, but that was when I had even more confidence than I ever did before. And I kind of went even more all in than I already was. And between 2010 and 2014, you know, I got back in, in 2008. So it really took me from 2008 to 2014, six years to get to that 100 deal a year mark. So, you know, think about that for a second, you know, especially for new people. Just think about it. I got in the business in 2002. I make a million, lose it all, come back, take some, and I learn all the lessons of that. I learned all the lessons of that, and then it still takes me six more years to get to 100 deals a year. And a lot of people, you know, if they don't sell 100 properties their first year, they quit the business. You know, it's crazy. Um, now, I do have this guy in my coaching program, Contavious Burdett, out of uh, Mississippi. He sold 100 properties his very first year, which is, I've never seen that in my life. I never heard of it. Nothing. He's just a single agent. Didn't even have an assistant. And he sold 100 properties his first year. Um, just completely <laughs> blows my mind that he was able to do that. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you how. Okay, in today's world of technology, you can do things 10 times faster than you could when I was when I started. You know, like for example, the dialers and looking up phone numbers. I used to look up phone numbers all night, and it took me all day to dial those numbers with my fingers. Now you can find thousands of people with two clicks of a mouse and click another mouse and dial them automatically and call 100 people in an hour and a half. It took me 15 hours to look them up and call them with my finger. So you're able to do things, you're able to do 10 times more damage uh, quicker, 10 times faster, the same amount of damage in today's world. Now you add social media and all the other technologies out there that, that make your life so much easier that I didn't have. When I was coming up, yes, you, you, sh you there, there should be a few people out there that can compress what I did, did into just year or two or three. There's no doubt in my mind that it's not possible to compress what I did into a year, two or three. Um, you know, so that part of it is simply incredible. Um, you know, I think technology, you know, the further and further we get with technology, you know, People become, you know, agents become more and more fearful that, you know, technology is going to replace us and stuff like that. But technology has done nothing but make our life easier and make it easier to communicate with people. Um, it just, it has enhanced our opportunity um, times 10. There's no doubt about it. And there's really, I see absolutely zero out there. Um, and I'm sure this could be a huge debate, but I, I see absolutely zero out there that is threatening. Uh, our jobs, real estate agents. I just don't see one single entity. I've looked at every little thing. Trust me, I really, I really watch this stuff and read a lot and look at a lot of stuff. And I just see nothing that I'm scared of or that I think replace us at this time. Just see nothing even close. Um, so you know, I'm not the guru of it. I'm not definitely not the god of all the stuff. I definitely could be wrong. I just don't see it at this time. Um, so I just believe that technology is helping us, not hurting us. It's creating a, a much more lucrative situation, seeing how we can do things 10 times faster, we can communicate better with more people. It's just incredible. So um, I want to get into maybe the nuts and bolts of how I actually created this business that I have. 
as a single agent. Um, and then maybe we can get in some, to some Q and a, but my, my entire business is just on being the most efficient I can be as a single agent to sell hundred properties a year, you know, year in and year out, you have to have an efficient system, um, you know, for your business. There's no way that you can, you know, it, and it all, it all comes down to from the very beginning. Okay. And, and first and foremost, like you got to be able to visualize that you're going to sell hundred properties a year. Then you need to believe a hundred percent that you can do it. And then you need to just go do it because a couple of simple facts too, that I learned when the market crashed on me and I came back and I was looking at it from afar is that closings continue to happen every single day. Closings are happening every single day in everyone's market. There isn't a, there isn't a limited, limited amount of. Now now it's echoing again. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. There is an unlimited amount of business for each and every single agent. And what I mean by that is that there's more than each and each one of you can handle. Right? When you realize that business is unlimited, like for example, you can't talk to every single property owner in your market ever in your life. It'll never happen. So therefore you have unlimited work to do for the rest of your life as you're on this mission, this journey to talk to and create relationships with as many people, property owners in your market as you can possibly do. Like you, you can work 24 seven, you know, 365 days a year and never even scratch the surface of what's out there available to you. I mean, it's never ending. And I want you to really get that. I want you to really understand that uh, tonight, how abundant, it really is and how much it doesn't matter about how many agents are in your market. I hear so many times, you know, there's X amount of agents in my market. How do I stand out? Or how am I supposed to compete? You don't compete. You don't folk, you don't even pay attention to them. You focus on talking to as many people as you can and trying to get it through to your prospects that you're there to help them. Right? So like your number one job, your number one job before you can do anything else is to make people feel comfortable with you. Our job is to close deals, to do transactions, to get listings, to set appointments, do all this stuff, make money, of course. But if you can't make your prospect feel comfortable with you, then the deal is done right there. They're not going to do business with you. Chances are very low that they're going to do business with somebody that they don't feel comfortable with. So the very first impression, the very first word, we have to develop the skill of communicating with people. Now what I'm doing and why I'm even here tonight is, is I'm on a mission to help reduce the beer rate in the real estate industry. Okay, so the way that I want to do that and the reason I started writing books speaking is because I saw that mainstream coaching was out there teaching scripts and teaching strategies and everything was directed. If you really look at those scripts and you really look at, at, the, at those the strategies behind the mainstream coaches out there, all that is designed to figure out what the client can do for the agent. Think about it for a second, you know, Hey, Mr. Seller, this is so-and-so down at whatever realty, you know, uh, I was calling the neighbors in your neighborhood. Didn't know you you know, you'd consider selling your house. It's like, you don't even know me. It's like, Hey, Mr. Seller, you know, you don't know me anything, but, uh, you know, would you sell your house so I can make some money here? I'm trying to make me some money. <laughs> oh, you don't? Well, cool, man. Do you, do you know anybody else? You know anybody else that might want to sell or, you know, do something to make me some money? not worried about you anymore. Let me just move on over to somebody else that might be able to make me some money. Right. And that, and, you know, it's like handle objections and the whole nine yards, man. And, I mean, it's almost like how they handle objections to get you to join the coaching program. I don't want to get on, get into all that, but what I'm trying to do is teach agents how to communicate who they actually are as a person, because those scripts designed to, to, 
They're designed really, what happens is prospects run away from you so fast because they smell the, the, the commission breath, the desperation in your voice, whatever it is, it's just not you. What I want you to do is to take your personality, who you are, that you care about people, that you're a hard worker, that you're honest, that you're professional, that you're dependable, and I want you to use that to win. I want you to use that to communicate to people who you are, why you're there, right, and build your business on that personal brand. So, so that that's why I started doing this because uh, I saw what was going on, and I, I just, I absolutely, because I actually had a coach for a short period of time. Sorry about that. I actually had a coach for a short period of time, and um, man, it just blew my mind what was going on there. So what I want you guys to do is when you're talking to your prospects, here's a little exercise for you. Next time you're talking to your mom, your brother, your cousin, your best friend from high school, somebody you know really well, okay, somebody you feel super comfortable with, okay, when you're talking to them on the phone or in person, Okay, and you're having this chat about whatever, how their day's going, or whatever you normally talk about. Okay, I want you to think subconsciously just for a second, and I want you to realize how comfortable they are with you, how comfortable you are with them, the speed of your voice. Speed of your voice is really important. The, 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 how calm you are, the tone of your voice, the whole nine yards. I want you to really think about this. This next time you're talking to a family or somebody you just know really well, I want you to take a mental snapshot of that moment, and I want you to start trying to emulate that exact, I want you to mirror that moment when you're talking to your prospects. I want you to make your prospects like they are your part of your immediate family, your best friend from high school, your cousin, you know, your, your co-workers. That's how you need to talk to your prospects. And when you start to do this, I promise you, your business is going to change dramatically. You're going to start to have conversations that are meaningful. Your prospects are going to start, start talking to you like you're their family, and you're going to know that this is a client for life. Okay, and when you can start, when you start to build relationships like this, Okay, because when you start to talk to people like this, and then you turn around and start to build a personal brand around that, then you really have this business of attraction. So you want, you want a business based on two things. Your intention is that you're there to really help people no matter what, and that you're building a personal brand around that. Okay, you don't want to be in the sales business because then – each sell, you just have to go, you have to go do another sale. You're only good as your last sale. Sell, 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 go do another sale, sell, sell. But when you're in the personal branding business where you're selling, but you're also building this brand, now people are just coming to you over time. They're coming back to you and back to you and back to you. They're sending in referrals. One reason I love to be a single agent is because people know exactly what they're going to get when they send me a referral. You know, like going to a fast food place, Arby's or McDonald's, you know exactly what you're going to get when you walk in there. Fries are the exact same way. Burgers are the exact same way. That's how I am with my real estate business. People know exactly what they're going to get when they send me a referral. They know that I'm going to show them the property. They know I'm going to help them negotiate the contract, write the contract, make sure their best interest is, is intact. So that's one reason, too, I love being a single agent is because I, I, and I believe it's one of the biggest reasons why I'm able to sell so much is because I have so many referrals coming in because people know exactly how I handle my business. I answer my phone every single time. I'm, I'm, I show up every time I say I'm going to show up. Um, I always have their best interests in mind. I'm always willing to give a little on my side to make the deal work. I'm just always willing to do what it takes a single time, and they know that. And so they're not scared to send their, their brother to me or their best friend. They're not scared to refer people to me because they know exactly how I'm going to handle my business. So, um, guys, I could go on and on and on here. I don't know how long you want me to 
want me to keep going. <laughs> I just I could go on a lot. Ricky, let's keep it rolling for a few more minutes, man. Okay. Let's keep it rolling. Um, I'll put about ten more minutes on the clock. You know, we always leave a couple minutes for Q and A. I do a little survey, but we can always wrap up in about five or seven minutes. So let's say ten more minutes. I did have one question, just in the, the direction you're going. I don't want to throw you off your flow, but could you talk to people a little bit about your thoughts on building a personal brand? I think there's a lot of people in the audience that are resonating with that topic. You know, so if you were to give some new agents, some experienced agents, just a few tips or, or core principles around that, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, good. That'll be a good uh, a good uh, ending here. Um, personal branding. So, with personal brand, okay. Your personal brand, however you're going to build your personal brand, is going to be a direct reflection of who you are, okay? So that that's, that's one thing you need to realize right up front, is whether you're going to try to build it on Facebook or, or even Zillow or uh, you know Instagram, or if you're going to do it through text or even phone call or doorknob, whatever you're going to do, postcards, it doesn't matter the avenue, okay? What matters, see, Deborah, please mute your, there we go. Uh, what matters is is that you understand this one key principle behind personal branding, and that is to build a personal brand, you have to have consistent, original content. It's got to be consistent, and it's got to be original content, okay? So let me break those down for you real quickly. Being consistent, okay, remember it's a reflection of who you are. When it's consistent, okay, when you when you start putting out consistent content, you're putting out content every single day, all right, or every week, or how well, whatever, however you're building your brand. If it's consistent, then they're gonna start to associate you with being a consistent person, a dependable person. They're gonna they're gonna think I can count on this person because you know I see their email every week, I see their Facebook post every day. Okay, when you go to a, a business's profile and there's no pictures, no posts for two weeks, you think, have they even been working? Right, so consistency is huge. It's a big, big, big part of it. Okay, and, and also it doesn't happen overnight. You have to be, you have to think, okay, I'm going to be consistent for two to three years. And then I'm going to see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go two to three years here. And then we'll look back and see, see, collect the data and look at it and go from there. From there, you know that that's the kind of that's the kind of thinking you need to you need to be behind. Is is I'm going to do this for a year to two years to three years to ten years. I'm gonna I'm gonna go long term with this consistency thing, and then see where we're at. Okay, let's talk about originality, because if you're doing just a drip campaign that 15 other agents are using in your market about how to cook shrimp at toupee or what color to paint the walls in the spring to you know, get the best buyers or what the you know five best buyer techniques. I mean, nobody cares about that stuff, all right? People want to know what you think as a person, you, what came out of your brain, what's original out of your mind about the market, or you think that they should know about this article that came out about the area, this new development, or this, this concert coming, or this event, or this, you know, festival or you know this change in you know they're going to add a lane over here on this road or whatever the case may be that's what's going to set you apart see every I, I created a personal brand through a weekly email every wednesday since 2007 yeah i got back in 08 but 2007 I actually was i was on the old rig and i was emailing and i was trying i was trying to build my real estate i was trying to come back before i got laid off and at the end of 2007, I started this weekly email. And it started out about foreclosures. And after the foreclosures went away, it ended up just being a market report. And I just kept going, kept going. And I haven't missed a single Wednesday since 2007. Think about it. And it's the single most important reason. It's really almost the only reason I'm able to sell 100 properties a year as a single agent. And still have time to make a YouTube video every day and put out podcasts and post on Instagram every day and do all the things that I'm doing for you guys in the real estate industry to try to raise up the bar of agents. 
the reason I'm able to do it is because I built a personal brand and now I have what I was telling you guys, an attraction business where my clients come to me. I'm not chasing them around town or wondering where my next post is coming from, right? I, I keep, keep 30 to 50 active listings and 10 to 20 pending deals at all times. There might be one point in the year where I hit five pendings, where it gets down to about five pendings. Every year, there's one point in the year, it seems like, where I get down to about five pendings, and I'm not, I don't sweat it. I just keep grinding away. Now, that brings me to another point. I don't focus on the results, right? I'm more focused on my day-to-day -day actions, okay? For example, the amount of effort that I put in every day doesn't change from the moment that I have 15 pendings to five pendings. I'm still putting in the same amount of effort every single day, as much as I can, right? But the pendings went down. Why? Well, I can't help that. I have no control over the results. All I can control is what I do day to day. And what am I going to do day to day? Well, let's, let's go through it. I'm going to get up at 4.30 and answer Instagram DMs from 4.30 to 5.30. Then I'm going to go to the gym from 6 to 7. Then I'm going to go home, eat breakfast, and be at the office by 8. Then I'm going to study my business for about 10 minutes and prioritize my day. I'm going to have a short meeting with my assistant, tell her everything we need to do to conquer everything we're trying to conquer. Then I'm going to just start taking actions on everything on that list. Boom, 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 boom. Appointments, listing appointments, phone calls, follow-ups, whatever I'm doing, I'm going to crush everything I see until about 3 o'clock. Then I'm going to sit down and have another short meeting with myself, look at my list, look at everything I got done, and try to figure out what the top three or four things I have to get done today before I can quit. Can you guys hear me? There we go. Anyway, I'm going to have that. Where did I lose you guys? You're on your to-do list crushing everything you need to do. <laughs> Did I get through three o'clock? Three o'clock, yeah. So there's another short meeting with myself where I want to I figure out what the top two or three, four things that have to get done today before I can go home. Because here's the problem. You guys aren't having that meeting at three o'clock with yourself to look at your business and decide what those top three or four things are. And you're just working all the way till five or six or seven or eight or however long you work. And then when you stop working, you're still worried about work. Like, what did I forget today? And then you go to sleep thinking about it. And when you wake up the next day, you're mentally drained because you were thinking about work all night, even when you were sleeping. When you have that 3 o'clock meeting with yourself, How 3 or 4 o'clock, and you try to you, you think about your business. Okay, I, got, I told this person I was going to email them back. I told this person I was going to call them back. You know, I have to so look up this property and send this before I go home, but all this other stuff can wait till tomorrow. Then you're just gonna concentrate on those few things and make sure they get it done. And then if you wanna get some more stuff done, you're good, but what I'm saying is, is if you leave the office at five or six o'clock, you're not going home worried about, did I forget something? Now you can recharge your mind by not thinking about work at night. When you're at home, you can focus on your family, you can be present with your kids, and then wake up the next day recharged and ready to, to answer those DMs at 4.30, go to the gym, go, go to the office at 8, prioritize your day again and do it all over again. That's my day. Whew. That was good stuff to be like Ricky. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. That was amazing, Ricky. I got a couple more things I want to do, guys. I know I said we'd open it up for Q&A, but – <clears throat> as you can tell, and I think Ricky's covering a lot of the, the questions as we go, you know, I don't want to miss an opportunity here because, you know, Ricky talked about intention and personal branding. And, you know, I, I want to say thank you, Ricky. You know, when you and I spoke about this opportunity, I want to say thank you to Sylvia Dana for helping pull this all together. Sylvia, thank you. Um, but, you know, when I asked Ricky about, you know, himself and, and kind of why he was open to joining, jumping in the world, you know, what he shared, guys, was his mission to help more agents succeed, you know, and, and I love that mission right in line with our obsession at EXP, guys, being agent success obsessed. And so what I wanted to open the opportunity to do here for about five minutes or so is let Ricky tell you a little bit about his, his coaching program, guys, and the resources and all the great content that he provides because the personal brand that he has built giving back to agents. I see a lot of agents in the room, Ricky. I don't know if you saw the chat, 
that are already Zero to Diamond participants and fans and, and people talking about your YouTube videos and stuff. So maybe if you'd spend the last five minutes or so just telling folks where they can get more information, what other resources you recommend, you know, different things, how they can stay, um, you know, stay learning from you outside of tonight, that'd be awesome. And then I'll close it up for the last five minutes. Cool. Are we going to do any Q&A at all? Yeah, if you guys have questions, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do real quick. While Ricky does this last few minutes, what I want you guys to do, nobody chat anything random in the chat. No more talking to each other. No more chatting back and forth. Only questions from here on out. So that way, after Ricky gives these few minutes real quick, guys, we can just look at the chat, pick a couple of the top questions, and do some Q&A. So you got to type questions clearly in the chat. Nothing else but questions, guys. Go for it, Ricky. Got it. Got it. Okay, so again, thank you guys for having me. I really enjoyed this. Um, as far as my coaching program, I want you guys to know it is completely free. There's no upsells later. Or I'm not going to get you at some point. It's actually the first completely free coaching program. Again, just like my real estate business, I'm a single agent. I'm also a single coach. Like I don't have any uh, coaches under me or anything like that. It's just me. And the way that I have it designed is there's a 90-day action plan. Okay, it's at zero2diamond.com, by the way. You go there, you create a free account, and there's a 90-day action plan. The 90-day action plan is designed, okay, and it's, it's pretty hardcore. I'll go ahead and warn you. It's, it is a little hardcore, but I'm, a hard, I'm, I'm pretty hardcore. Um, but the reason that I did the 90 days is, is so that at the end of the 90 days, if you complete that 90 days and you email me, me and you are going to have a coaching call, okay? And the reason why a lot of people try to have calls with me, you know, up front or before or halfway through. And the thing is, is if you if you can complete those 90 days, then that tells me that you really want it as bad as you say you do. And if you if you want it that bad, then that gives me permission to talk to you and try to try to help you further get to that diamond status. You know, when I say zero to diamond, that's zero to a million dollars a year which is what I've done for the last three years. I hit 90 grand this in January. Um, so zero to diamond means a lot to me. It started as, as nothing. Like I've made something out of nothing here and I have the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world. We're over, we're just about to 26,000 agents and it's growing by about 50 to 100 a day. And there's scripts, there's tutorials, there's an online course, there's a 28-day challenge within the 90 days where you get a text every day for 28 days of a video with your challenge that day. Uh, it's a very um, in-depth um, coaching program. And I, a lot of people ask what y'all, you guys can do for me because of it, because it's free. I literally... The only thing I want from you guys is to use it and go succeed. That's it. I don't want anything from you. I just want you guys to get out there and succeed. Um, I do travel around the country and speak. I do have books. You know, I have other ways that I make money from this. But as far as sharing exactly how I built my business and giving you guys the blueprint, I want you guys to have that for free. Thank you, Ricky, man. That's amazing, guys. Zero to diamond.com. I'll drop a link in the chat here before we wrap up. We've got just a few questions. There were only a few folks who took advantage of the opportunity to get their one question in the chat. So I'll read them off to you, Ricky, and we'll let you rock with them. First question What is your best piece of advice for a new agent? My best piece of advice for a new agent is to, like, when you're a new agent, you think, all the, all the chips are stacked against you. You know, how do you succeed? How do you compete with all these? Uh, more experienced agents and stuff like that. Well, man, there's agents out there that are really older agents that think, how can I compete with the younger agents? Like, it doesn't matter where you are in your career. There's always a reason to say, oh, you're the underdog or to, to try to downgrade your situation. Well, really, you have one of the best situations out there. You're brand new, okay? So what I would understand is, is that as a new agent, you have such an advantage over the experienced agents, okay? You never thought about it like that, did you? Here's why. It's because the experienced agents are busy. Like, there's no way that I have time to really study the market like I want to study my market. Like, I, I, I glance at it. I'm on top of it. I know as much as I need to know. But a new when I was a new agent, I could study that sucker for an hour every day. And I knew so much more about square foot pricing, uh, uh, properties that sold, 
Like I was so on top of the market more than I am now. I'm, I'm still on top of it. Right. But not like I was when I was a new agent. As a new agent, you have time to actually study the market and bring that market information. There's new closings and new sales every day. There's new market information every day. And you have the opportunity to bring that new information to the public first before anyone else. What does that do? It makes you look like you're a, a, you're, you're a, a mogul. You know, it makes you look like you're an expert on the market. Um, so there, there's so many things. Also, when a, a client asks you, you know, if they say, hey, how many properties have you sold? You look at them straight in the eye and you say zero. <laughs> and that's why you want me because I'm going to spend every waking hour on just your deal because it's the only deal I got going on. If, if you want to go down the road and see Mr. Ricky that sells 100 properties a year and see where your deal is going to be on his priority list, be my guest. And if you don't want to work with me, Mr. Seller, I understand if you don't want a worker because that's who I am. I'm going to go down the road and find somebody who does want to work. So, I mean, there, then you, you can look at it so many different ways, but there's so, you have such an advantage. I don't care where you are in your career. There's an advantage in, in every stage. Beautiful and so true, man. I love that answer. All right, two more quick ones, guys. One, do you take any days off, Ricky? <laughs> no. <laughs> no days off. That was an easy one. Number two, and this one will probably be a little bit of a longer answer, but what would be your, your top tip? for anyone wanting to break into the luxury market? I love this question, man, because I get it a lot. And it's like, what is the difference? <laughs> I mean, what? tell me the difference in a luxury and non-luxury, right? What is the difference, okay? So let me, let me just break down the, the blueprint for you really quickly. I don't care what type of property you wanna get into, commercial, luxury, non-luxury, mobile homes, you know, land, uh, you know, waterfront property, I don't care what it is. Your first step is to go talk to people that own that type of property as fast as you can, as many of them as you can, period. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's easy, guys. It's all, it's all a philosophy, right? They're just people, just relationships. It's just back to everything Ricky's talking about tonight. I love and, it. And I could go, I could go deeper and deeper and deeper, guys. But you know, we're, we're trying to slam in a bunch of questions. Go to zero to dummy .com. Absolutely, guys. That's what uh, that's where you guys should head tonight. If you got any free time, get on it. Get out there, Ricky. I want to say thank you. Hey, real quick, Sylvia, Dana, if you're still in the audience, we come up to the stage. Ricky, do you mind if we take a quick picture? I'm going to do a quick screenshot. That way I can text it to you afterwards. We had over 420 folks in the auditorium, man. That was a record for Real Estate 101 on Sunday night. So I want to say thank you. So many people are, are sending out messages and workplace chats, our private chats, telling us how, how great this was and how much they appreciated you being here. So real quick, um, do you guys, let's see, let's do this. All right, we'll stand next to each other. I'll get the screenshot here real quick, and then I'll send it out. So Sylvia, Ricky, and 350 of our closest EXP friends, guys. Let me actually get a little bit closer here. So I'm going to stand behind you guys, so I'll catch both. All right. So we got Ricky and Sylvia. Cool. All right, guys. Screenshot is grabbed. I want to say thank you to everybody here for attending, guys. If you guys need a roll, feel free to head out. Ricky, you are wrapped, man. Thank you for an amazing session. This was awesome. For anybody who was a guest tonight or a new EXP agent that needs a little bit of direction on where to go and how to spend the rest of your week, guys, go for it. Um, and let me say, too, uh, I answer every single message on Instagram. Appreciate that. You're inviting 320 agents to shoot you a, a DM? No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I answer about two or 300 every day. So if you guys need to reach out to me there. I answer them all, all day. Love it. Well, this was a blast, man. Really, Ricky, thank you so much. This was fantastic content. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing the message. We appreciate you being here. And let us know if there's anything we can do to help besides sending people on a mission. For sure. For sure. Oh, there he goes. Ricky, oh, dance the samba. If anybody wants to dance with Ricky, it's slash dance or slash samba in your chat. Then you guys get to dance up. There we go. Now that the Stage is packed. I'm going to get one more screenshot. I like this. Well. This is just a good screenshot. This is funny. If y'all want to get a picture, come on up here and grab yeah. a screenshot on your computer real come quick. Get, come get your screenshot. 
too good. Too good. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. This might be the biggest dance party on the stage. If we break EXP Worlds, <laughs> that'll be a fun Monday. <laughs> I love it. Thanks again, Ricky, man. This was awesome. Appreciate everybody showing up, guys. All our EXP agents, any of our special guests. We're here to help, guys, and we appreciate you being here. Invest in yourself, getting ready for a, a monster week. Have a great Monday. Take action. It was a simple formula, right? Visualize it, believe it, and then just do it. That's what he said. Three steps. It's that easy. It looks like the end of a Saturday Night Live episode. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. Bye. Hi, right, Ricky. Take care, my man. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Bye, Ricky. Bye, everybody. My guys. Bye, Ricky. Hey, if there's anybody in here who this was their first one, this is not our usual real estate one-on-one. -on -one. We don't always throw a party, but we don't always have Ricky Groove. So <laughs> if anybody here in the audience is trying to plan out their week or has any EAP questions or wonders what in the world this was and what else we do, do me a favor, stick around. I'll stick around for about five minutes, and I'll kind of direct traffic. I'll do my normal closing We'll kind of close up tonight's um, meeting. We'll talk about, you know, what else is coming during the week, all that. Cool. So if you guys are on your first visit and you want to hang around for a minute, um, hang tight and I'll give you kind of a couple more pieces of what we normally do. So if you're still here and you guys want to kind of close this thing up, take your mouse up to the top of your EXP World window. There's a black box that says screen zoom. Hover over screen zoom and then click on the main web screen. What the main web screen is going to show you is kind of what's next, right? So if you're just checking out EXP or you're brand new to the company and you just ended up at Real Estate 101, I want to give you guys a couple of recommendations based on your experience level or what it is that you're looking for. So if you're newer to the business agents, new to the brokerage or newer to the business, and you're looking for some basic training, I'd like to invite you guys to attend our Fast Start series, ASAP. So this Fast Start series is a series of courses that's basic training for new agents, and it runs live in the EXP world every single week. It repeats every two weeks because we cover 14 different topics in 14 consecutive courses. And there's a couple of ways you can find out more about these. All right, Jeffrey. So Jeffrey's going on to week two. A couple of ways you can find out more about these. So the first way is I'm gonna give you guys an actual checklist in the chat so you can see the names of all 14 classes in the Fast Art series. So here in just a second, I'll load this PDF into the chat. And once I do that, then I'll get you guys a link to the calendar where you guys can go. I'll give you a link to the calendar where you guys can go look up when these classes are, so that way you can figure out where to go take them, okay? So the link to the checklist should be loading in the chat right now for our Fast Start series, basic training for new agents. The other thing I want to call out is if you're an experienced agent, the calendar still has a lot of great classes for you guys. We've got over probably 35 to 45 a week that fit more of our experienced agent audience. And I just gave you kind of some examples of what you could do on every given day. Farming for dollars on Mondays, listing presentation trains, marketing center, social media masterminds, eye conversations. Um, there's a lot of great resources, guys. So let me give you the link to that calendar here real quick. And again, don't forget to check out zero to diamond.com. That's Ricky's coaching site, guys. It's amazing content, good stuff. So let me get you the calendar link in the chat. So for anybody who's looking for where those classes are, there's your link to the calendar, guys. And uh, we'll be doing this again next Sunday. It won't be Ricky. It'll be a different instructor, maybe myself, maybe another one of our fantastic agents at EXP, guys. But thanks for coming. Keep coming back. Plug into all these great resources and training going on during the week, guys. And let's everybody have a great week. The market, guys, is hot in almost every market where I talk to agents. It is a great time to be in real estate. And keep in mind that everything you do right now in the next 30, 60, 90 days, that's what's going to translate to what happens for you this summer when you want to be selling houses, when you want to have maximized your relationships, right? So make sure you guys get to work. And we'll see you again next Sunday and see you in the EXP world this week. Thanks, everybody.